Nothing, guys. How are you doing? Back on the road again. And today, I'm in Leeds, right? Me, come on, we're going somewhere that's a little bit weird. It's called Iden Steak. Now, it's weird because it's in Leeds, but it's got a Bradford postcode. It's on Tongue Road. I'm confused, but apparently, the editor says I'm going to be even more confused because it's hiding. It's called Iden Steak, and it's hiding away. Oh, I don't know. It's riddles. It's like it's like being on an episode of Batman. Eh, we've got Joker, Riddler, and Fat Man. So let's go. Da 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 kebab. Da 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 steak man. Da 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 food man. Let's go. Iden steak. So is it going to be a steak dinner, or is it just going to be? Because I've had this before when I've been to places and it's it's like you know steak takeaway, steak restaurant, and all that kind of stuff. And I get there, it's a chicken steak. What's a lot about chicken's not a steak, mate? Chicken breast, chicken fillet. Don't call them chicken steaks. So if it's a steak restaurant, if we're hiding steaks and it's hiding steak, there better be like a rump or a ribeye. Maybe it's a bit of sirloin. I don't think I can sue a filet. <laughs> filet mignon. Not a chance. But the sun's in my eyes. We're going uphill. Uphill today. Woo, here we go. I need to clean my windows, cameraman. I don't know what to do. Washers. Oh, well, not that one, mate. Good. Oh, that one, it. Oh, God. Can't see out. So, I'm, I'm in a good mood now because we, we're now finally on his way. So, I was at another location, just finished filming. Gets in van, turns key, boom, mattress flat. All right, because. It's all calm, man, here. I've left a load of gear charging for an hour and it's turned ignition on. The battery's gone flat. I've not known why we've been filming somewhere else. So, we've come to the van, gone flat. So, anyway, sat there and I'm thinking, oh, we'd phone somebody up to try and come and get us. Next thing, this bloke pulls up with his lad and they're talking and the two, two travelling fellas and they're off to a boxing gym. Looked in the van, they got no. Next thing, da 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 TJ! So TJ and his dad come to the rescue. His mate had been on the phone, he says, look, that lad that you like on rate my takeaway, he's brought down up there. Van's paggered, it needs, it needs some jump leads. Get and sort him. So they've taken time out, they've come, they've seen me. Straight away, there were no mucking about, they didn't want no photos, they didn't want no, they upped the car up to the van, bush. Got it going, then they wanted a picture, bless him. So yeah, thank you very much, TJ and your dad. It was very nice to talk to you, talking to you about being English gypsies and they were telling me a bit of heritage, we were talking about food and all that. It was very nice to speak to you both. Just want to say on behalf of me and cameraman, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. You saved his life. Where is this place? Where is it taking us here? Done us in here, cameraman. I don't like crickets. Oh no. I, I don't actually. It's not my bag. Oh, we're here, look. It says we're here, cameraman. Turn here and exit here. Right. Tongue Park Hotel. Hiding steak. Tariff payable by phone. What's all that about? What's all that, mate? Oh, no, they've got one of those bottles. I ain't going on that before you even see that, cameraman. Making a fool of myself. Eh? Only knocking out. Oof. One punch on boxing bag. Right, here we go. Look at this. Hide and stick. So that is it away. That's why, isn't it? That's why it's called hide and stick. So this could be posh. This, this is a takeaway. Are they, are they serving restaurant quality, hotel quality food for takeaway? I don't know. Right, well, I'll tell you what, let's not sit here and say I don't know. Let's go find out, let's go check it. Do I take van off? Better take van off, better. Better, better hope and pray that it starts back up. So we're gonna have to show, I've not even got TJ's number. What are we gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna, shall we try it? Right, right, come on. Right, guys. Oh, right, so I think, I think we've got to go in here and sort of parking out. So, I'm going to get to the table and chair out. There we go, sexy car. 
All right, guys. Let's go. Oop. Hide and stay, cameraman. How's that? Hide and stay, in no till. I feel like I've got to be quiet when we wet people up. Right, let's go sort of park it out and then we'll be back. Come on, let's have it. I think I might just book in here, cameraman. Stay in here for the night. Right. Here we go, help. This is pushing it. There you go, right. So we can't just stay here. Right. Continue. Oh. No. Thank you. Your vehicle has been added. There you go, right. Let's go find some food, guys. Let's have it. Right, cameraman. What's all this here? Bentley Suite. Uh, can, can we not just stay here? Stay in, I reckon we should stay in a hotel for night. I mean, I only live 15, 20 minutes down the road, but I'm up for a night out if you are. <laughs> oh, here we go. Right. Oh, oh, oh. How'd I get in? Is it this way? This way? Is it, is it through here? Yeah. Do you get, do you, is, it, is it around there, mate? Through here? You want to go in? Yes, please. Yep, please. Through that way, lovely. Yeah. Oh, there you go. This is the restaurant and the kitchen. All right. There you go. Have you got a menu, please? Yeah. I can have a look at. Oh, thank you very much, yes, sir. sir. So what do you recommend? What's good? Everything. everything. From my side, is everything. Everything. Up to your taste, you know. Oh, look at this. Oh, and we have got big steaks on here as well, yes, haven't sure, we? No problem. Yes. Yeah. The best is uh, if you are a meat lover, then you go to uh, Tornado. It's a beef fillet. Yeah. It's a butterfly style beef. I, I, do you know what? When it comes to steak, I prefer a nice ribeye. Yeah, ribeye is very good because in, inside, slightly fat. So yeah, your, your mouth is comes yeah. glazed. On Got a nice tongue. bit of marble and it renders down well. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, and what does it come with? Chips? It's up to you. There is a lot yeah. of things, you know. You can, you can order on the side. Instead of chips, you can take a black potato. Yeah. And uh, roast vegetables comes with the steaks. Um, and... Uh, well, do you know what? Two type of sauces. I think I'm going to go for a three course meal. I'm going to have a nice... Start. So do I order here, here, with you? I will call that guy. All right, yeah. Brilliant, thank you. Right, guys, so look at this. We've got, we're on grill. We're all your steaks, pastas, curries, salads, sides, burgers, rice. So I'm going to go three course meal tonight. Break my takeaway, we're going to splash out. <laughs> We've come to an hotel, hide and steak. I'll be stupid not to have a steak, won't I? So. What's all that there? Chicken. Malibotti. So it looks like it's a bit of a fusion. With steak and curry, that's what it looks it's like. Be here. Maybe two, three yeah. Right. yeah, well, I've, I've got a table and chair. I'm no going to pop it up outside if that's all right. Just want to come out and take it's the up, order? It's up to you. Yeah, I can do that. I can sit. Yep, lovely. Thank you. Lovely, right? Let's go. It's like it's like first restaurant we've done. <laughs> Proper dining. Here we go. All right, lads. How you doing? How's food? Is it good? All right. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Well, I'll pop I'll put my table and chair up out here and. Uh, can, you can you can sit wherever you want. Yeah. All swimming pool yours. Swimming pool's mine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate, thank you. Right, hey, look at this. Cloud nine, mate. Cloud nine. Yeah, well, I don't think we're going to get many people. Look, at that. look, I'm definitely not having a go at that, mate. Five quid, 13 plays. 20 quid, 55. That's all that about. I've never seen that in my life. Shisha garden. This looks like it might be the place to be. Well, I'm going to go on grass. Sun is shining. So this is like a little hidden gem. So you can get it for takeout. Looks like it's a cross between steak and curries. I bet weekends. I bet you this place is busy. Looking at what they've got going on, it's got that Instagramable vibe about it. 
cloud shisha bar, Iden State Bar and Grill. So I reckon that guy, right, don't you test. Oh, I don't want to do in the AstroTurf here. <laughs> I reckon that guy is probably at Chef Fort Kitchen. Yeah, and then come December, he's going to bang up Red Soap and be Santa. <laughs> right, so let's have a look at menu here. Oh, cheesy garlic bread, loamy sticks, chicken wings, lamb chops. I'm going to go for... I, don't, I, just, I just don't know what it is. Chicken Malali Botty. Bit of chicken botty. So we'll have a bit of that. I'm going to go for ribeye, with chips, mushroom sauce, but I want the sauce on the side. And then I'm going to have cheesecake. Oh. I think that's just like a red velvet. I've never had a red velvet cheesecake. I've never had a red velvet cake. It, it's a nice place, this cameraman. It's a bit posh. I wonder if... You know, when editor says to me and you, I'm off to a quiet place to go do some editing. Can I have company card? And then he rings up a bill. I bet he's coming here. That <laughs> cheeky. I bet he's coming here. This looks posh, doesn't it? A bit posh for me. Then we can get these chairs in back at that. Could do with some garden furniture. I'm only kidding. If he gets nicked it out, they're blaming me. I love you, right? I'm very well, thank you. So, I would like to order, please, one of the chicken Malawi. How do you say it? Malawi. Malai. Yeah, Malai Botty, please. And then, can I get a ribeye steak? Can I have it medium rare, please? And can I have that with chips? And then, can I also get the mushroom sauce? Can I get that on the side? Is that yeah. okay? Yeah, And then, with the cheesecakes, uh, are these all the cheesecakes you've got here? or the? Uh, we actually only have chocolate and orange. Yeah. Chocolate, uh, white chocolate. Um, we also have strawberry. Uh, I'll have a strawberry one, please. Okay. Yeah, and then just a glass of water, please. Okay. That's it, thank you. Thank you very much. This is weird. I'm going to be honest with you, this is weird, this, guys. I feel like I've, I've been to places before that have been restaurants that do take away. But now is where I'm feeling like an imposter coming with my own table and chair. I'm in a posh hotel that's got a takeaway grill. Should I say with it? But it don't feel like it's a takeaway grill. It feels like I'm still I'm, I'm in a hotel in restaurant. So I mean I'm looking forward to the food. Don't get me wrong. And if if you know if it comes out and it's banging, you know it's cost me twenty quid for a steak. It's cost me six <coughs> six ninety nine foot starter, five ninety nine foot pudding. You are paying restaurant prices there, are you? 20 quid for a steak. It's, you know, for a takeaway. Let's just see how good it is. Because it all depends if it's a good steak, good, good sides, 20 quid all day long. And I would have it delivered to me, you know, if it's a, a decent quality chunk of meat, to be fair. So let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to hide and steak. <laughs> Look at this, yes! Oh, oh, that looks nice. That's your steak. Lovely, look at that, oh, beautiful. This is your nice. Thank and you. Nice. And this is your chicken malai boti. Lovely, thank you. Right. And then I've got a dessert, and then can I get a glass of water as well, please? I'll send you now. What dessert do you want? It was the strawberry cheesecake. 
Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, guys. No I'll send you the glass of water. Lovely. After that, after your meal, I'll send you the cheesecake. Well, I, I'm only going to try a little bit and then I'm going to take it to go. So if you can bring the cheesecake out, mate, that'll be no, great. No, I'll give you <laughs> Thank no, you. Problem. Right, look at this, guys. Well, this looks good. You've got loads of fresh veggies there, look. On side. Steak cut chips. We've got a bit of a steak. Cooked with onions on top and there looks to be some herbs and spices on the steak. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute and I'm going to try this. So this is the, the chicken mal malwe. The table. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it smells good. Oh. Well, I say that's nice, that you know. So you've got grilled chicken and a creamy sauce. It's got a nice bit of, of peppery spice coming through there. That is absolutely bang on. A little bit of salt on the side. Do you know what guys, I quite like that. That's delicious. Right, this is what we came for. Right, here we go. So we've got rest restaurant quality, supposedly steak. Right, with chips, a bit of veg, a bit of a mushroom sauce. So do you know what? Get back to basics. Let's pick these chips up. They are what they are. Steak cut chips, as they call them. I'm going to try this mushroom sauce. No, that's all right. That's quite tasty, that. Oh, yeah. I quite like that. Now, what you find is, in restaurants and stuff like this, they'll make a basic white sauce then it can be turned into that sauce, this sauce, any sauce. And it, uh, you know, it gets a lot of flavour in there. So adding that to it and dipping your chips in is great. Here we are, look. Oh. You water? Lovely, thank you very much, sir. Thank, thank you. you sir. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, pint of the good stuff, guys. Nice bit of water in there. Sorry, I thought it was beer then. I'm going down on it. <laughs> right. It's garnished with some fried vegetables, what we got, carrots, onions, mushrooms, peppers, courgettes, nice crunch stick carrot, a few herbs on there to give it a bit of flavour, you know what guys, that's alright, just is what it is, a bit of grilled veg, here we go, right, look here, oh here he is, look, Creme de la creme, okay. look, with a bit this of cheese. This is your order. Yeah, nice okay, bit of cheese. cheesecake. And this is from my side, Raffaello cheesecake. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Enjoy. you very much, sir. Thank you. Oh, they look amazing. Oh, Anything you want? I'm fine, thank you. Great. Whatever, whatever left, just let me know. Yeah, lovely. I'll take out, yeah. Lovely, thank you very much. Thank you. Right, oh, look at this. This is it now. I want to speed forward to dessert. <laughs> so we've got fried onions on top. All right. Do you know what? I quite like onions on my steak. But there we go. Yes. So it's a nice big piece of steak. All right. This is the. Oh, look at that. You can tell it's ribeye. Look at that. Right. I'm going to cut into this. Medium rare. Oh yes, mate. This look well. What is all of it? Get in there. Got a fatty bit. Oh yes. There we go. I'm not used to cutting. Right, let's get through here. Look at that. Nice bit of steak. Oh. Look at that. Wow. So when I said it must be like an Indian fusion, 
I won't get in. Because the spices that's on here. Whoa. I'm glad I didn't get peppercorn. <laughs> oh, wow. What is that, man? It is, you know. I think there's like a... Just a bit like a blue cheese butter. <laughs> coming through there, you've got pepper, chilies, all coming through with a steak. And it's absolutely popping off in my mouth. It's going absolutely nuts. It's not something that I expected, if I'm honest with you. When I went for ribeye, I'm just like a bit of ribeye steak. But it's cooked. I wanted it to be cooked. Got a nice bit of pinkish, nice bit of blood coming out. Might have all that nice steak. But that seasoning on there takes it to the next level. Gives it a nice bit of spice, nice bit of bite. So it is not steak and curries. It is steak and curry, steak and spice, hide and steak, because what's hiding on the steak is an absolute feast of spice, pepper, mush, flavour. <laughs> I'm going nuts here, look, cameraman. Right, and that's just going to chill it down. So, let's taste the dessert. Here we go. And then I'm going to sit here and eat all this. <laughs> Were you watching? Right. I'm going, to, I'm going to try this one. This is what I ordered. And then we'll rate it and then we'll go in with that one. But strawberry cheesecakes. Nice cheesecakes. Nice bit of cream. Bit of mint there, look. Don't want the mint leaf, but we'll go in for... Oh. Now that looks good as a cheesecake goes. This is what you expect from a posh hotel. Held together. Look at that. I've basically cut a slice of cake out of there. Oh, yes. Oh, a bit of cream. Look at that. With that little bit of chocolate on top. The biscuit base. Got a little bit of a crunch. It's buttery. It tastes very nice. But then the cheese, the cheesecake, absolutely gorgeous. Very firm. Bit of strawberry on top. Delicious. Comes with that just little drizzle of chocolate. Just kicks it off. My mouth, if I'm honest, is still tingling from the peppercorns and bits and bobs from here. So let's go through it before I try this bad boy. So we started off. Look, I'm going to get wrong fork here. We've got this chicken. It's in like a creamy, spicy sauce. Nice bits of chicken breast. Cooked on a char grill. I can taste a bit of pepper in there. Chilli. But most of all, I can taste the chiving on the chicken. Really nice. So this is like seven quid for a starter. Then I'm paying 20 quid for steak and chips. Bit of veg. Deep fried chips, oven, you know, the frozen chips, aren't they? Let's like, not beat about the bus, we know what they are. Frozen chips, bit of sauce. Then we've got a nice piece of steak, marinated up, covered in butter, cooked just how I asked it to be cooked, to be honest. And when I first tasted it, I'm thinking, this isn't what I expected. I wanted the sauce on the side because I used to have a plain steak. But the seasoning on here just started firing all my taste buds off. It was like a disco dance going off in there. And after a couple of mouthfuls, I quite enjoyed it. It started proper going off. I really enjoyed it, to be fair. Bit of fried onion on top. Bang on. Then I moved on. Cheesecake. Do you know what? It's a solid cheesecake. All right, that is how you want it to be. Absolutely banging. Nice. Nice bit of cream on the side. But like I said, the biscuit base, it's buttery. It's oaty. It's got a nice crunch to it. And then you've got a nice, solid, firm cheesecake with that strawberry on top. A little bit of chocolate that we're there that I've had now. Absolutely bang on. And you, you what are these? Five and a half quid. Right, so guys. It's a bit weird being in an hotel. 
it's a bit weird having this posh food. But I've had a three course meal there, 30 quid. Do you know what? I don't think that's too bad, 30 quid. For that kind of steak, for it to be served like that, if it gets to my house like that, I'd be very, very happy. The chips are the chips. But for me, guys, do you know what? I think it's all right. I don't think it's too bad. I'm going to give it a nice, solid 9.5. I'll see you next time. But before I do, let's just try this little bit of a cheesecake here. Because this one is the Ruffalo. So again, you've got nice, solid cheese. Oh, oh. No wonder it fetched that out. Oh, that'd have upped it to 10. <laughs> That's banging. 9.5 all day long. Well done, guys. I'll see you next time. I'm going to finish my pint and chill out. with Bill come on and then I'll be honest with you I've eaten some more of that <laughs> that's nice that you know coconut mate get off get off you can have this are you yeah oh is your last kitchen to the hotel don't, don't that, yeah do you know what I'm going to use that I'm going to say I'm going to... Get a bit... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I'm just waiting for him to box it me up, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Do you know what? I ordered ribeye, and I said I'll have mushroom sauce in a tub, and I expected it just to come as a plain steak, but it's all, you know, chilled up and peppered up and all that with a bit of seasoning, so it's got a bit of a bite to it. Yeah, um, I owe you a big thank you anyway, I'm from Teesside, me, but I live in Leeds, so I watch all your stuff. Yeah. And then I know where to go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers mate, thank you. Take it easy mate, get well soon pal. <laughs>